Like, you guys see me? I'm live, baby. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, my God. So many comments. So it is approximately 7.09 a.m. in Australia where I am. And I woke up at 6.10. And, um, wow. Mariana says, hi, Dean. Having said that, I'm really excited with this music video. Since the day you announced the new song, I'm crying. I love you so much. Mariana, thank you so much. And I'm so glad this day is here for you. Um, Morgan says the song is so good. Thank you. I Honestly, guys, like I'll, I'll be honest. Like, I got so many amazing messages the last like the last like 24 hours. It's been insane. Like messages where people, you know, I can see the songs connecting to people, not just with the ears, you know what I mean? Which is such a cool thing because I don't think I've had a song like that since Waves and Be All Right. But I also don't know if I'm just saying this to create a narrative in my head to be like, nah, this one's different, man. But it feels different, baby. So um, by the way, if you guys type my name in the comment, if you like say Dean Lewis and ask a question, it comes up orange for me. doesn't mean it's, it's there's so many messages, but it's easy to say. Um, can you say hello, T Tel Talia? Hello, Talia. Um, I've missed you from Agnes. Agnes, oh my God, your page is amazing. I absolutely love it. I appreciate all the stuff you post. So um, where, are you, where are you guys from? Like, there's 900 people. I love this. I'm absolutely loving it. But oh, guys, make sure you click the the like button. And uh, where are you? Where are you from? I'm gonna have a look. So you got India. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Oh my god. Um, bit of Australia, Mexico, Croatia, France. My best mate in high school. He's Croatian. Um, Miro's a great guy. Brazil, UK. London. Oh, I love it. All right. So that's bloody awesome. South Carolina. Cal Callum Rolf says, do you think this is your best song? Um, yeah. Oh my God. Like, like I sort of put this into the same category as be all right waves and maybe half a man. And I guess the reason I say that is because you, you, you write a lot of songs, but there's only a few. And I think you almost need time to realize this, there's only a few songs that are so personal and are written to per in a, from a personal perspective that can cross over in a universal way. And I think this one is falling up is 100% the same because no matter what anyone thinks of the song, the meaning is so important. It means so much to me that if everyone hated it, you still can't say that it doesn't mean something. So whereas if I think if you write like a pop tune, which this is, I guess, a little bit like that, it's a pop tune as well. If it's just a song about some some just random stuff, you know, it um it doesn't connect as much. So so guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about the music video. So so basically, I was in Los Angeles, COVID was happening, still happening, but it was pretty hectic back then. And we had to shoot a music video for following up. So this friggin' genius director, man, and I, I don't say that, I don't say that about everyone, right? Um, his name's Tim Mattia. He came up with this idea of having me wearing a suit in Las Vegas in a casino. And we basically, because like Vegas was shut, basically, we got to hire the Palms Casino for like $15,000 um, for the whole day. So it's this huge, it's like a little bit off the strip, but it's this huge casino hotel. And they just spent like a billion dollars refurbishing it. And then obviously COVID hit. And then so they like had no one there. So usually to hire this joint out, you'd have to pay like, I don't know, $2 million. And um, you know, I ain't doing that. So we had 15 grand. They let us in. They, like, we had like 40 pe pe per, uh, people in our crew, but we, we, got it, we got to go in and like do anything. Like they, we didn't even have like a chaperone. And look, this is, Tim had his own ideas about what it meant, but this is just what I picked up from what he was saying. The video is the idea of putting a suit on almost like getting rid of, getting ready for success and, you know, kind of getting ready, getting ready to go do this show. And you get down there and you walk through this casino and, and it's empty and you get on stage and you're playing to yourself and there's really nothing at the end of it. And I know I sound like an absolute whinger, but it's true for me. And, uh, and then it's like, I'm not going to reveal the end because it's so cool what happens. It's kind of like, I'm not going to say it. But um, it's the best 
it's the best video. And, and I've, we've had some great videos. Like, uh, you know, my mate Mick, he, the video for Waves is unbelievable. Um, this might have topped it. I don't know. But it's, it's really good. And the other good thing is in music videos, a lot of the time, honestly, you look, you're like, you know, maybe you're having a bad hair day or something like that, right? Like today it's okay. But on this day, I was just feeling great. I was feeling great. I was feeling healthy. I was pumped. We got up at 4 a.m. And um, another crazy story is I had the morning, the mo I, I went to bed. I was trying to go to bed really, really early because I usually go to bed at 2 a.m. Well, I was back then. So I was like, okay, 10 p.m. I'm going to go to sleep because I have to get up at 4 a.m. to shoot this music video, which is lasting all day. And I'm not kidding you. Someone came. It's like this dude at 4 a.m. No, at, at 3 a.m. An hour before I had to get up and was like slamming on the door saying, let me in the room. And I'm like, who's this dude? And um, so it was a really beautiful way to wake up. It was just so lovely for someone to just jolt you awake like that. And I ended up saying after five minutes, I think you're in the wrong room, dude. And uh, yeah. So some questions. Uh, guys, ask me questions. I should do like a little Instagram-y thing. All right, let's do this. Guys, I am live and chatting. I sound like such a TV host, but um, oh my God. Okay. I'm going to look at what the question is. Uh, can we see... Wait, I missed that. Emma just, Emma just said hi from Israel. So hello. Uh, King Rahil said, can we, can we see Ali Gaddy? <laughs> uh, yes, you can. Um, all right, let me just tag this, guys. Chatting. One sec. It's like so many socials now. Remove this, post this, and then I'll be back. Done and post. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So there's a thousand people there. This is cool. So Marina says, you're the best singer in the world. I love you so much. I can't wait for any concerts. Oh my God, I can't wait as well. I can't wait to get back out on the road. So do you guys have any questions about the music video? Oh, Matthew Martin, this is a great question. He said, how long did it take to write, to write the lyrics? So... So basically, actually, I'm going to get my other guitar. Hold on one sec. Ba, 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 ba. So it's quite early to be playing, but whatever. So, um... This is the riff. It's kind of underlying the song. Which is actually a Hayden Callan riff. So we had this this riff, and I was on the bus, and I'm heading into the studio, and I'm back in Richmond. And I wasn't in Richmond until I had uh, the last time I was there. I was living there four years ago in London when I would started riding waves. And so it was the first time I'd been back since I was, you know, everything had started happening and like, it was like a really exciting time. And there was this riff and I was on the bus and then I was like just listening to it over and over again and I'm like, oh, it's just so sometimes like all these crazy cool ideas come out for whatever reason. And sometimes it's almost unexplainable because it'll be like, these are pretty simple chords, you know what I mean? I think it's just like, you know, I mean, I don't know what the exact chords are, but I think of it as almost like C, A minor, G, F or something. But it's like the way that the inversions were playing. And then it was just like the first thing that came out was the uh, the pre-chorus. And I have a voice memo of this this coming out, right? It go, I, Like as this riff is playing in the background and I literally just sing, I'll show you guys at some point, it was, I get so lonely and you get so low and I look so stupid. No, no, no. I didn't have the rest of it, but I had the start of it. And then I was like, oh, that's pretty sick. So I recorded that first. Finished that, went back to the, went back, no, then we went to the chorus. We we're like, okay, how do we top this, 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 this pre chorus? Because the pre chorus is so magic. And then it was just this, like, kiss and feeling down. I'm falling up. And it's really hard to sing acoustically. I've got to be like with a full band, just like screaming because it's, um, to get the, 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 I can't sing that if I'm singing softly. Like, you just can't. It's got to be like a, sorry for my neighbors this morning. He's got to go. Cause I'm feeling down and I'm falling up and I'm breaking out. It's got to be like crazy push, you know what I mean? 
Um, and then I went back to the verse and I loved every line in the song. From things were happening, I felt the weight of the expectation on my chest. I also love, they said things were growing. So why do I feel like nothing at all is left? Because that's like the idea of like everyone telling you, things are great, man. Things are great. And also always looking at other people going, wait, wait, like why, wait, why, why am I not, like I've had this, why am I not there? And it sort of is this dumb, it's dumb because it never makes you happy. And also you don't appreciate where you are if you're looking at everyone else all the time. And I'm not always looking at everyone else. It's just comparison in general. All right, Lenny says, who's your favorite artist to collab with? Well, Martin Garrix is amazing. Um, I'm not a big collab guy, really, to be honest. I kind of, I think it's cool to do one feature thingamajig when you um, when you finish an album. Daff says, how long did it take to record the video? So we recorded the video and I've got, oh God, we're, the, by the way, the, we're 10 minutes away. It's exciting. Um, I recorded the video, we recorded the video in one day. It was supposed to be over two days, but I think scheduling or it cost too much. So we basically shot from 4 a.m. I think to 8 p.m., finishing at this lake bed outside of Las Vegas, and it was the best crew. I oh god, they were just the best. Um, what's your favorite part of the lyrics? Ooh, favorite part of the lyrics? It's got to be uh. So I'll keep on moving, cause if I'm standing still, then I'll feel the emptiness. Yeah, that's the idea of like continually moving because if you stop and think then then you have to address your life and i think i'll have a lot of friends that do the same things it's like anxiety or whatever you put it off you put it off oh, just you know and i have friends i'm not into flashy stuff i think a lot of other people are in, like my friends not specifically my friends but a lot of people are into like flashy things and they're always like if i get this shiny new thing i'll be happy so yeah. Also, what I've noticed is people seem to relating to it in a like because I, I wrote this sort of book as COVID was starting that um people have really connected with the barely breathing part and seem to be relating that to their struggles of being inside and struggling mentally, which has been interesting because I always love when the songs come out and then the inter interpretations come in. Daff says, "Did you repeat the pool scene in the video, or was it a one-time shot?" Daff, the we don't have that pool scene was. The, uh, a couple of weeks after I, I took the fancy suit off guys I had a really nice suit for this music video like because the label was paying for it right and I was just like all right they're paying for it I'm gonna get the best and I think it wasn't recoupable it's like the one thing so I was like I'm gonna get a really nice suit for this kiss uh I made you guys some money you know what I mean so it's time to get a nice suit and um and they got me a nice one and then I found out it was recoupable so I'm, I actually paid for it devastatingly um Love from Sri Lanka. Hello, hello. I, I love Sri Lanka. Great t cricket team. Well, actually, I don't know if they're great anymore. You tell me. Madison says, can you say, hey, Madison, uh, have you been to Mexico? Yeah, I have. Actually, I've been to Mexico when I was like, I think like 16. Um, Charlotte, thank you. Who else? Um, is it possible with Lewis? Is the song with Lewis Capaldi possible? Well, that'd be kind of weird because, I mean, A, he's amazing and his voice is so good, but it's like two s similar artists singing a song together. You know what I mean? And also, I'm not a collab guy, but it would be awesome, fun. So, guys, I'm going live. So this is what's going to happen. I've got to tell you guys this is what's going to happen. So in seven minutes, wait, six minutes, I'm going to have to stop this live. But you guys stay here. Do not change links. Just stay here. And then what's going to happen is, I'll sit here and be able to watch the premiere with you and a countdown will start, which will be like a minute or something like that. And we can all watch and I'll be typing to you guys. So we've got six minutes left. Will you come back to the Netherlands? Oh my God, I cannot wait to come back to the Netherlands. This is the thing that's so weird about releasing music and I kind of realized it last night. I kind of was like, you know, I was kind of like, that's, you release it and that's kind of it. Like obviously there's so much stuff happening, but I was kind of like, like last time we'd go to the Netherlands, we'd go do radio promo. You go to England, you go to like, we'd be nonstop. And it's like the thing we're doing now is this, and this is great. And I want to do this, but it's weird. I'd be like, I thought, you know, it's anyway, it's been, um, I've had, I've, I've had a lot of time off and it's kind of like, I guess racing mu music in COVID, COVID is a different experience. Um, 
some Samira says he coming planning to come to Dubai. I mean, I would love to. Andrea says, what do your friends say about your success? I think you find out who your real friends are um, when you're doing well. I've been lucky, I think. But, you know, you, you get a couple of people. People are great and weird. Um, Taryn Dushami says, can you say Taryn? <laughs> yes, of course. When is the album coming out? Uh, I've, I've got two or three songs left to finish. I mean, I've recorded, like, to be honest, like 20 songs. And, like, until the record label says, hey, you've spent too much, I'm just going to keep going. Um, you know what I mean? Um, but I think I have. Oh, God. But the songs are good. I'm not, I'm not even just saying this, guys. I know everyone says, my new songs are amazing, man. Oh, they're so much better than the old ones. The old ones are great. And I, I remember I watched an interview with one of my favorite artists when I was younger. And I was such a big fan of his. And he said, he goes, my old songs, they're, they're rubbish. They're rubbish. And, and the new ones are so much better. And I was like, oh, thanks, man. Because I love your music. And you just told me that, that, that my taste is terrible. So I always remember that. So when I say the new songs are better, I, saw, I, th I think I've expanded on the last ones. Um, so we've got five minutes to go, I'm being told. Guys, ask me some more questions. Someone says, how do you like your coffee? I, I have this like, I started going the little iced Americanos, like it's got ice long black in Australia. It's just a bit of ice and um, I've got an espresso machine. I mean, it's, a, it's one of those Nespresso things. I'm not sponsored, I shouldn't even say that. Um, I'm not, I don't get sponsored by anyone, by the way. Literally no one. It's like weird. It's like, where's, where's, the, where's the shoe brands coming up to me going, maybe I'm not cool, I don't know. But also, I'm not really into it. All right. What's your go-to song these days? Um, I've just been listening to Falling Up on Repeat. It's so depressing, I know. Um, Leah says, have you been to Croatia? No, I haven't. My friend always wants me to go. What's your favorite song you've ever made? I would say this. I would say Falling Up is my new favorite song that I've ever made. It's just... When's the acoustic coming out? Oh, I... Well, Okay, well, can I, can I tell you guys? I might have recorded acoustic. There might be two versions, piano and guitar. I don't know where they're coming, but I'll tell you this. They sound pretty good. And I'm critical of my own stuff, and it sounds good. Dean Lewis, come to Slovakia. I would love to. Christina? Abiyash, who are your favorite artists at the moment? Jack Ray. Jack Ray. Um, Tessa. Oh, my God. Thanks so much for answering my question. No worries. Um, Duru, I'd love to come to Turkey. All right, so, wow, we're almost up. Three minutes in the music video. All right, guys, this is the best music video we've ever done. I'm just going to say it. Um, we shot it in Las Vegas, Nevada, in America, during COVID. Best crew. Um, I really wanted the, the video to come out at the same time as the song, but it didn't because we, we had to do this premiere, which is actually really cool in the end. But um, I think it... It's going to take things to another level, and I'm just really excited to see. And listen, make sure you comment in the music when it comes, when it goes live. Like, as soon as this, I go off in, like, three minutes, just start commenting in the comments. Because I want to get the comments up to, like, 5,000 to make it up. Uh, because I'm going to be reading them all, right? Someone said, how tall are you? I think I'm 6'2 or 6'3. Um, yeah. Although online, it, I, it's because I get I got radio interview the other day and asked how tall I was, and I said, look, I was 6'1. Um, so I actually have no idea. I think if you're over six foot, you don't really you don't really check, do you? Um, you will you really? Aline says we release an album soon. Yeah, well, I'm, there's so many songs coming. Don't worry about that. But uh, Zara says please come back to the UK. Uh, I I would love to come back. All right, guys, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, and I got to get off in one minute because um, apparently if I stream over, the whole system crashes. Right. So make sure you spam the like. I'm such a YouTuber now. And subscribe. I almost have a million subscribers. How crazy is that? Would you come to Israel? Yeah, I would love to. I'd love to go everywhere. I want to tour everywhere. Would you come to Austria? Yes. Um, what's your favorite song you sang, Jared? <clears throat> I don't know. Falling Up is going to be so hard to sing live. I just, you know, it's just 30 seconds. Oh, I've got 30 seconds left, guys. 30 seconds left. Can I get um? Can I get a bunch of hearts in the chat? Or like a bunch of like... I don't know, like what? Yeah, hearts. Let's do crazy stuff. Let's go crazy. All right. So I'm going to end this stream. Stay here. Do not go anywhere. I'm going to be sitting right here watching it with you. We're one minute away from the best music video I've ever done. And hopefully you guys relate to it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I love you. I love you. Goodbye. That was great. It's fun as well. But. <laughs>